Hey, hello everybody, Disciple here with Overwatch Curios. Now we've got a really crazy video today with some game breaking bugs, and if you guys think that I'm overstating that, just take a look at them and see if you guys think that this makes sense. But before we get started, I just wanted to thank you guys so much to anyone who's subscribed to the channel. We are just about to hit 100,000 subscribers and that is absolutely crazy to me. Of course we have the Overwatch Moments channel which is much larger than this, but I don't really get to show my voice or my personality in it, so seeing this channel grow so quickly from November to what it is today really means a lot to me. So if any of you guys haven't subscribed, help us hit 100,000. I'm at 99,200 as I'm recording this. But anyway, let's get into the video and take a look at some of these crazy bugs. So the first bug is really the game breaking one and it's one that I haven't actually experienced myself and I'm not entirely sure what causes it but I have seen people talking about it on the forums and as far as I can tell it's only happened on two point capture but essentially what will happen is both teams will go through their first capture phase and if they end tied either with a score of one to one or two to two when they go into the next phase the attacking team who has less time is going to go ahead and attack and then the round will end right after the attacking team finishes without giving the other team a chance to attack at all, even if they have more time left on the clock. And as you can see, that's really broken. We have a video of it right here, where you can see the defending team is actually defending pretty well, but then things get really weird. So none of the defending team is actually standing on the point when the match ends, but none of the attackers are standing on the point then either. Not only that, but there was still overtime and the game ends and nobody actually pushed it all the way to the full bar, but it still awarded the attackers a point. So it seems like there's a lot of bugs going down here, and the first one that appears is that the match ends while there's still overtime, but I think this can be explained by the game thinking that the point was actually captured, and so that might not actually be a bug, but the real bug, the first one, is that the point was captured while no one was standing on it and they still had quite a ways to go on the bar. They were only at 27.9% when the match ended and awarded them the point. But then it gets even weirder, where it ends the match entirely and it doesn't give the defending team a chance to attack, even though you can clearly see they have a minute and 24 seconds left on the clock with which to attack on their own and hopefully capture more of a percentage than the enemy team did. Now, if you guys are a little bit confused about the percentages because you haven't been playing competitive this week, just know that it's a change that came with the Overwatch Uprising patch, where whichever team has the highest percentage wins if both teams have equal points, and that was put in to try and eliminate ties. Now, you can still tie if both teams capture 0% and have the same number of points. Now, this has been a pretty controversial update, mostly because it does seem like it favors the second team to attack, since if they are able to successfully defend the first round, then they can just send through a tracer or a Sombra to get that 1% on the point if the enemies aren't actively standing on it because they're holding a choke. The first team to attack is much less likely to send through a Sombra or a Tracer to do that because they don't know that the enemy team is going to get 0% on their try, whereas the second team attack does know so they can change up their strategy and just have more options available to them to win. But it does seem like there's a little bit of a bug with that, and it seems like this patch might have brought along this first bug and potentially the next one we're gonna look at. Now this might be a new bug, but it also could be a pre-existing bug since I'm pretty sure it's happened to me in the past, but I can't be exactly sure since I don't have it on video. And I'm pretty sure I've seen other people talking about this happening to them. Now, fortunately for us, but unfortunately for him, this happened to Zizix live on stream, but at least we get to see it happening on video and see it very, very clearly, where members of his team are defending the point and are very actively standing on the point, and it manages to get capped anyway. Now, breaking this down, we can see very clearly through the wall that Reinhardt and Anna are both definitely on the point the entire time. It looks like Mei wasn't on the point, but that shouldn't even matter since two members from the defending team are definitely enough to save this. However, despite all this, the enemy Sombra gets onto the point and somehow manages to capture more than 0.2%, which is the amount that Zizix's team had captured before of this point, and it ends the game immediately, awarding them the point and, of course, the match. Now, although these two bugs did seem somewhat similar, unfortunately it does seem like they are two entirely separate issues, which means that the Overwatch team is going to have to reproduce both of them, find the causes of them, and then fix both of them to make sure that the game is balanced just up until this point. Now, the reason for both of these matches ending was apparently the same. The game believed that one team had a higher percentage than the other team, and the other team didn't have another chance to attack. Now, this was the case in the second clip, the team that 
was defending had already attacked, they had captured 0.2%, and so if the attacking team captured any more than 0.2%, they would be the winners under the new system. However, they of course shouldn't have been able to capture any more than 0% as long as there were defenders on the point. However, in the first clip, it seemed like the game just randomly decided that the other team had already attacked and had already captured 0%, as opposed to still having a minute and 24 left to go on, and it just decided that 27.9% was enough to win the match, and of course awarded them the point and the match. Now, Blizzard QA has posted in the thread for the first bug that they are aware of the issue and they have been able to reproduce it, so hopefully a fix should be coming for it very soon. Because if not, this is actually really, really big for the game. Because I don't want to be playing a competitive match and be able to successfully defend the enemy team when they try and push the first point, and then not even get a chance to attack the first point myself and have the win awarded to them for apparently no reason altogether except for it just being a bug. I'll be Obviously, I'm sure that you guys agree with that, but I'm curious if this has happened to you guys in your games or any similar bugs where the win was just plain given to a team that didn't earn it, not because of some exploit or something, but just because the match ended before it should have. This seems really, really weird, but I'm sure that because of how crucial it is, Blizzard will definitely make this one a priority. Now, of course, I don't know how easy it is for bugs like this to get fixed, but I'm sure that there is a rather competent team working there on Blizzard since most of the bugs that have happened in the game in the past have been fixed until now, or at least the ones that still exist aren't that game breaking, unlike this bug. And so hopefully this won't be affecting your guys' competitive matches for too much longer, but I would recommend not playing competitive until these are fixed, because these could actually just flat out lose you guys some SR. And I know that all of you guys watching here probably care about your SR in some way or another, because a lot of our videos are about improving your rank and ranking up. Now, the next bug isn't quite as game breaking, but it is still live in the game, and it definitely would affect the games played if you do run into it. And it's actually 100% reproducible, as far as I can tell, so it's one that I wanted to let you guys know about. And I actually experienced this in a game I was playing earlier today. So, Mei apparently no longer slows on her left click and her ultimate. She still applies the freeze, and once she's held them in it for long enough time, they do get stunned. However, the ultimate and the left click don't actually apply a slow at all anymore like they used to. Now, this could be an intentional change, but it's very unlikely because it wasn't in the patch notes. And I actually went into the forums and saw a Blizzard employee respond to a thread about this, saying that it had been hotfixed on live, and that if anyone ran into it, they should let them know. And so I thought, oh man, I can't include this in the video since it's been fixed. I saw a video of it earlier reproducing it, but... I decided to go into a custom game myself and test this out in training, and right now as I'm recording this, it still exists. You can see the training bots don't slow down at all as I hold my left click on them, or as I throw my ultimate out, it of course still damages them and it applies the freeze, but it doesn't slow them in the slightest. And while you might not always notice this, if you're trying to chase someone like Genji or even Reinhardt, it can be very, very difficult to really stick on to someone who has a speed boost from Lucio maybe, or is just barely outside of your range if you aren't able to slow them down. Now I played Mei earlier in a match and you guys might hate me for that, but I was on defense trying to hold the point and I didn't necessarily notice it happening live, but I was performing a little bit worse than usual on Mei. So now seeing that this bug actually is reproducible in the game, it makes me feel kind of bad about some of those games that maybe I could have won if I had gotten a couple extra picks. So I'd also recommend not picking Mei and telling your teammates that she is currently bugged until Blizzard does fix it and we actually get to see in game that it is fixed since the last one appeared to have been a false call. Now, my conclusion of all of this is that Overwatch is a little broken right now, and I would recommend not playing competitive at all until all of this is fixed, because you could just easily lose a game because of one of these bugs. Now, of course, you might also win because of them, because they negatively affected the other team, but that wouldn't feel nearly as good, and it would just be up to chance, and so I'd recommend just holding it tight, playing quick play, or even better, the new PvE option of the Overwatch Uprising event, which has been phenomenal, and I think is definitely spells great for the future of PvE events in Overwatch. It definitely makes me want a campaign overall through Overwatch in a story mode, which unfortunately the game didn't launch with, but perhaps if we're able to get map editors and better custom game settings, we could even create ourselves. But seeing Uprising definitely makes me feel like this could be more than just the PvP game. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I seriously couldn't do this without you, and it means so much that you guys come out to watch my videos and listen to my voice, and that you guys are part of the almost 100k 
100,000 that we have as part of this Overwatch Curios community. It's also been really cool to see that you guys like our t-shirt designs and that actually hundreds of you have already pre-ordered them. I've been having so much fun coming up with them alongside an artist, Avid Austin, and we actually have a new design, which is my favorite yet. I've already ordered like three different versions of this, but it's a design based on D.Va, and I think it's amazingly cool. So if you want to check it out, of course, the link is in the description. Anyway, you guys are awesome, and I'll see you next time. Peace.